Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Well, ladies, Ann Patrick and Robin Glasser, thank you for joining me today live in Dallas, Texas on the Valder Beebe Show. How are you? We're terrific. How are you? I am having a fabulous life today. It's Monday. It's a great day, and I am here because my audience say today is a very good day to talk about landslide. You mm. guys are international best-selling authors and a renowned illustrator, so we feel so lucky to have the opportunity to talk about your adorable new book. If I can start with you, Anne, give us the, give us the 411 on your book. Okay, so little Nicolette Farmer is going to run for class president, and her mother says you're going to win by a landslide. And the lambs over here, and they misunderstand. They think she's going to win by a lamb slide. Where's the lamb slide, they want to know. And so they want to petition all the other animals. Can we have a lamb slide on the farm? They, they work to build consensus among the pigs and the chickens and the cows. And then they have a vote. vote. They have a vote, and they vote for a lamb slide. But the most important thing is that my dog Sparky is on every page because Robin Price Glasser is my new best friend, and she knows how important my dog is. <laughs> well, but it's also it like, <laughs> go ahead, Robin. Well, it's also because I uh, draw people more comfortably, and I've never really drawn animals before. I just came off a big series that I did for the last fifteen years, Fancy Nancy, and when I met Anne and. She, Anne actually, by the way, is a very famous novelist, and she only has written adult books before. And I had the absolute nerve when I met you. <laughs> so nervy. I, I, it was. I, you just don't do that sort of thing. And I walked into her bookstore. She has a bookstore, a beautiful independent bookstore in Nashville called Parnassus. And I happened to be there on the last Fancy Nancy tour. And I met Anne, and we just hit it off, and it was instant kismet. And I said, gosh, you are funny and clever, and have you ever thought of writing a children's book? And she said, no. As I hadn't. Right? <laughs> and then she said, but I always had this one idea. And then she d told me this story, and I just thought it was hysterical. And then the next day, she sent it to me. And then every week, she sent me a new story. <laughs> and she just started churning them out. And you were in the middle of a really heavy duty uh, novel at right, the time. Right. Go ahead and tell about well, that. Well, so yeah, I was writing this novel that's coming out in the fall, The Dutch House, but it was so fantastic to be able to take a break and to really to finish something. I mean, when you're writing a novel and it goes on for years, it's, it's exhausting and a drag, but to write a children's book where you can tell the whole story and get it done and send it to your friend who reads it and then does these astonishing illustrations, one of the best illustrators yeah. working, sitting right here next to me and Sparky. You guys <laughs> uh, sound like such a wonderful team together. You know, Anne, I know that you've written eight novels. Yeah. They've been translated into 30 languages. And for you and Anne to team up and bring a children's book, I think that's quite phenomenal. What is the ultimate payoff for the reader in Lamb Slide? The, the what? The ultimate payoff for the reader. Well, it, you know, it's a, it's a lovely bedtime story, and it's about democracy. And, but, it, but, but I like what you said, that, that all children's books, I mean, you can teach, and you, but you can never be preachy. And it's like eating vegetables or giving your kids vegetables. You want to just hide the, the point, you know, inside a fun, light, uh, entertaining story. And Anne just naturally knew how to do that. You know, she'd never written a children's book before. And then she suddenly wrote 10 of them. And each one of them have a point. They have a, a, a moral. I mean, they're all, like, just well, incredible. Well, Robin, uh, you're not too shabby yourself. You know, oh, you, no. you and Robin that fancy Robin is the very Nancy opposite of shabby. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You and that fancy Nancy work, you know, you're known by parents, I know at least, parents and children. And we know your work. Oh, so thank this you. is such a great collaboration. It I is. Love it design. is. And it's the crazy. illustrations are so gorgeous. They're just, they're nuanced, they're funny, they're full of movement and energy and Well, sparky. they're kind of like both of you guys. They're yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> Thanks for bringing Sparky. My dog was named Sparky, so that, that's oh. just endearing to my heart. But I oh. want my audience to know we've had a lot of fun. But if you want a copy of Lamb Slide, I'm giving away a couple of copies. So go to okay. my Facebook page, see the, see the icon, like it, share it. Might send you a copy, but otherwise, they're 
wherever books are sold, you can get a copy of Lambslide. Ladies, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. I feel thank special you, Valder. that you came on the Valder BB Show. Thank you. Thank Bye-bye. you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.